Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I've got some lovely news today, well lovely for me. Um, I've been accepted onto the design team, the summer design team for Rach and Bella Crafts. I'm absolutely delighted and I hope I do them proud. I have been a follower of Rachel's for quite a long time now, so I was absolutely amazed when she accepted me onto the team. So I've been having a play and this was a video that I did have planned for today but I thought I would use some of the papers that Rachel has so kindly um, sent over. Um, these were the envelopes that I did make previously. These were just out of scraps of paper um, like so little they've got a, a sort of gusset side so i'm going to quickly flip through the papers with you first this is from a kit called blue shabby backgrounds and there's loads and loads of pages i didn't print them all out because there's that many of them but it'd be absolutely wonderful for a, a full journal because the the prints are just beautiful so there are all sorts of shades of blue and you do get some sort of browns as well which I think blue and brown just go totally together so this just a quick flip through I just love these they're like um winter roses maybe this is a bit sort of is it William Morris and I adore these absolutely gorgeous beautiful so that's like I say just eight or nine pages I printed out and this is one envelope that I've made I found this design of envelope on Instagram I think <coughs> excuse me um, I just need to put a blob of glue onto that just bear with me one second just to hold it together the dead easy to fold um, just bear with me a sec while I glue that one in yeah and what I use these for in my craft club on a Friday although we're having a break for the summer holidays but I give out um, gifts every week to the ladies I give a prize for just a raffle in general for everybody everybody's name gets entered into that and then I give a prize out for a card I do a little card challenge so the ladies make a card and then I draw a name I don't sometimes John will choose a card that he likes as his favorite but normally it's just random and the raffle for just turning up at class is I get a voucher from the shop the craft shop where we hold the class and I just put some of my little punched butterflies I sit and make these at night they're just a piece of vellum or parchment on a piece of card and just two or three gems and this is the punch I use it's quite an old one um, this is an X cut one I must have got that when I was back in the UK at some point so I just put a little voucher in here with a little packet of butterflies and just makes just a nice little way to give out a voucher so I'm getting all those ready for when we go back in September but this is one I've made with one of these pieces of paper and this is the piece I had left which I always keep obviously all my scraps of paper and I'm sure we all do and this is one page from another kit of Rachel's which is season or times and season vintage and it's just got some sort of words on and there's some bible quotes here and seasons and autumn also so I've just used one off there with friendship and just put two of the little butterflies one at each end of the little tab to hold the flap down so dead easy to make so I'm just going to choose one of the papers now I'm just going to quickly trim all the white sides off because my printer doesn't do borderless printing um, and I need a square of paper so I'm just going to measure how wide this is and it's about seven and three quarters so I'm just going to cut that 
to size so you've got a little piece of paper left there then you need a scoring board mine's an old score pal and I want a line to go from corner to corner so I'm just lining it up with the central line there and the bottom corner there and just score down and that is the only time you need the scoring board you could just fold it straight in half if you don't have a scoreboard so let's put that out of the way then I hope you can see that line <coughs> excuse me you fold in to make like a kite shape from the bottom corner line this edge up with that score line and fold and do the same with the other side you sort of have to roll your paper a little bit to get it onto the point but it doesn't matter if it's a fraction out it really doesn't like so and score, uh, fold that one okay so you've got a kite shape now you want to fold this point up not to the top maybe about an inch two centimeters from the top and mark that one then you're going to fold this little flap inside just roll your paper so that you can get it right to the edge of here you don't really want it sticking out like so and I'm just going to fold no it's just sticking out a wee bit there let me just see that bit there it's just sticking out too much for my liking okay so that's it so I'm just going to put a blob of glue on here to hold that in place and fold that up carefully and tuck it in okay so that's all nice and stuck down and that's the only bit you need the glue for really you will find that your corner your these pieces just tend to stick up a little bit from your line I just flatten it back out again now this one you want to take up to there now this paper is quite thick I printed onto 160 GSM so it is a fairly substantial thickness but it's still workable just bear with me there okay so you've got two little flaps like that now you want to open it out put your fingers inside and flatten that out so that fold instead of going up you want it to go down so just maneuver it and work it into this corner here so you've got a nice valley fold and the same at this side just press it down and then you get a valley fold instead of a mountain fold so you've got a nice little envelope that you can put something reasonably thick in there then fold it over to make the flap now I'm just going to put my ruler just to sort of maneuver the paper and I just rub my thumbnail against the ruler to initially get a line like so and then burnish that one and that is your little envelope dead easy and you've got something substantial to go in there now the piece of paper that I had left I'm just going to cut a strip off to make the little tuck in flat just about a centimetre wide like so now I'm just going to ink it because I like inked edges and I'm just going to cut it down a little bit because you don't want it yes it could go over there no I'll leave it as it is I don't need to trim the edges off so I'm just going to ink it you could use a contrasting paper so where your flap is put it over and then you want to pop glue just on the sides 
then you can move your envelope flap in and out quite easily. So blob of glue on each end. This glue keeps oozing out so I have to put the top straight back on. So put your flap down, try and get it in the middle. That's not quite in the middle. Okay, like that. So your flap goes in and out quite easily. Now I'm going to find two butterflies out of my little stash here. It's a good project to do at night, just watching TV. So I've got some blue ones here. So I'm going to put... That looks a bit too white, actually. Let's find a blue one with brown gems down the middle. And I'll use my tacky glue for that. Stick that on the end. And the same with this one. Like so. Put the top on. Put the little butterfly wings up. Give it some dimension. And that's a little envelope ready for when I go back to craft group and I can make some, put some little gifts in there. Okay, so, oh hang on, what I haven't done is I just need to cut one of these up with a, a nice little word to go across the flap. Uh, kindness, that's a good one. We all need kindness in this world. Should be a bit more of it in some places. And I'm just going to cut that at an angle, like so, and then I'm just going to quickly ink it. My videos, well, my videos are never terribly long, but at the moment it is so hot. Uh, we have the AC on, but when I'm filming, I have to shut the door into the living room. So it makes it even hotter in here. I do have a fan on, but I'm still actually physically sweating now, so excuse me. So I think they're really, really nice and beautiful papers from Rachel and Bella, or Rachel and Bella. Okay, thanks for joining me today. And I hope I've done Rachel and Bella proud and I'd love you to be a subscriber and I'd love you to hit the notification button as well. And I shall see you next time. Bye.